G'day, it's Phil here, and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be looking through $1 coins, looking for commemorative coins, rare coins, and coins worth more than face value. Again, we have my $1 collection book here, already partly filled with the commemorative coins that we've found so far. And there are a lot, a lot of commemorative coins, but actually we're only looking for one, this one here with the placeholder, and it's the changeover coin, the 2016 50th anniversary of decimal currency. We have all the other coins that we really need for the book, including a whole heap of not intended for circulation coins. It's actually quite a lot because this book's been going on for a very long time. So let's put the book to the side because the hunt for the changeover continues. And let's see if we can find that changeover this time around. We close that book off and start a new book. Uh, that is the Mob of Ruse. That's the standard uh, $1 coin design. I'll be looking at the coins both obverse and reverse today because we are looking for the changeover and the changeover has its commemorative design on the obverse side, the queen's head side. So we need to look on both sides. Uh, this is our first commemorative coin. It's the Centenary of Commonwealth Aged Pension from 2009. It's a high minted coin, so it'll go up on the top row. We'll call that the common commemoratives row. But we'll continue on. Oh, well, there's a 2016, but not the one we're looking for. And another one. But we will continue on looking for those commemorative coins. Here's 100 Years of Anzac, The Spirit Lives. This is this series ran from 2014 to 2018 inclusively. This one's from 2014, which is the highest minted of that series. So it'll go up on the top row. But if we find any of the others, the other years, we'll be keeping those because they are much lower minted than that one. This is the year of the Outback from 2002, another highly minted coin celebrating Australia's Outback. It'll go up on the top row. And here we have 2010's Centenary of Girl Guides celebrating guiding in Australia. Also highly minted, it'll go up on the top row. And here we have 1996's Sir Henry Parks, the father of Federation. So highly minted and very hard to come by in really good condition because it's getting quite old now and it's a very shallow strike. So that last too well in circulation. Here we have 2011's Chogham coin, the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting. 2011, the meeting was held in Perth, Australia. We have a coin commemorating that, but that is common commemorative, so it'll go up on the top row. We continue on, 2019, and here we have the Great Aussie Coin Hunt, the very first series, 2019. It's the T for thongs, the ubiquitous uh, foot covering of Australia so that'll go down at the bottom we're going to call that the keepers row because we'll be keeping anything that goes down there on the bottom row uh, and that finishes off that first roll so already we've got some common commemoratives and a keeper for the wider collection but no change over yet but we will continue on looking for that uh, coin what have we got here this is a 2014 100 years of anzac in pretty ordinary condition go up on the top row and as i look through the coins also i'll be looking for any die chips any cuds uh any errors of any kind in the manufacturing there's another sir henry parks and i'll be also looking out for years of low mintage which is 2014 and 2021 for, for low minted ab um, mob of ruse coins and there we have, after that one, we have the very first $1 commemorative coin, the International Year of Peace, 1986, highly minted, so it'll go up on the top row. And the 2007 APEC Australia coin, celebrating the APEC meeting in that year. That was the only coin that was issued into circulation and, and into a uh, the year set. And so that means that the coin the mob of ruse for 2007 was only issued as a not intended for circulation coin so along with the 2007 we, we look out for the 1987 1989 1990 1991 and 2012 for the mob of ruse that were issued in that year because they were much lower minted and only minted into sets here we have a 2019 coin in very very ordinary condition it has a u preview mark there above the a in the dollar and has a little 35 because it's the 35th anniversary of the one dollar coin the dollar discovery series but this is 
in very, very ordinary condition. So it's going to go back to the bank. Um, but I'm going to put it down there for the moment because it is a lower minted coin that I would usually keep. But the condition of it means that I'm not going to keep it this time around. This is a Centenary of Federation coin from 2001. We always check that one for a rotation error. It's also highly minted and it will go up there on the top row. And there's another one and we'll check that for rotation error as well. It's fine. Another 2016 coin without the changeover obverse. Here we have the Dancing Man, 60th anniversary of the end of World War II from 2005. And the Dancing Man is also a highly minted coin, so it'll go up on the top row. But now we're on to the third roll. And once we finish this roll, we'll speed the hunt up a bit. Uh, we'll only stop for coins that we haven't seen on the day, but I can see already that there's a really shiny coin, a couple of coins down. And so that'll be something that we haven't seen today. And we will put down as a keeper. This is an AFL Premiership season uh, coin from 2024. It holds the Chaz Branlow Trophy, the best and fairest trophy for the Australian Football League. Uh, football um, code AFL so that'll go down with the keepers because it's looks like it's going to be a low minted coin we don't actually know how many were minted yet because we haven't got the annual report and when we do we'll find out I'm going to keep all or keep a, a, a reasonable amount of really nice condition coins like that here we have the 1999 it's national year of older persons also highly minted and it will go up on the top row so yes, we've got this last little few coins to go through. Is another International Year of Older Persons. Really nice looking 2018. To another 2007, which will be the APEC Australia. And then hopefully we can pick something else up. We've got a few coins here to finish this roll off with. 100 years of Anzac, 2014, Sir Henry Parks, and another 2014, 100 years of Anzac. So, we've been through the rolls now. Let's speed the hunt up a little bit. We'll only stop and I will annotate and tell you what uh, the new coins are for the day. So, let's get into the hunt. And there we see for the first time the International Year of Volunteers from 2001. So a highly minted coin. Not going into set, so it's a little bit harder to find that one in really good condition. And here we have the Australia's Volunteers making a difference from 2003. It's a little bit lower minted than the others. And it, when they are in good condition, I do keep them uh, for the wider collection. But I have quite a significant amount of these now. So this is going to go up on the top row for the moment. And there we have 1997 Sir Charles Kingsford Smith celebrating one of Australia's aviation pioneers. Also highly minted, will go up on the top row. Uh, and then we have a dinosaur coin. This is from 2022. It's Australia's dinosaurs. This is the Elephosaurine. And it is one of the coins that was issued by Australia Post in conjunction with the Royal Australian Mint. So it's a lower minted coin, not intended for circulation as such. It was a corporate program coin. It'll go down on the bottom. We don't see many of those anymore. Uh, they're starting to sort of peter out in circulation. And I saw this uh, as we were picking up the roll. It's a mob of ruse. It's got King Charles III on it, the first effigy of King Charles III. This is 2023 dated coin. It'll go down at the bottom at the moment. I'm keeping all of the King Charles coins that are in particularly good condition. Uh, as we don't know the mintage of those coins yet, we will probably in a month or so. Uh, and then if they're low minted, I'll keep them. If they're not, they will go back to the bank. And then we have a little bit of a an oddity, we've got an A stamped into that uh, $1 coin there from 1984. I'll put that down to the side as an oddity 
to be kept in the wider collection. And there for the first time today, we see 1993's Landcare Australia coin celebrating the Landcare organization. In this coin, we look out for die chips and cuds within this tree design. Is, uh, sometimes the die degrades and leaves extra bits of metal in between those leaves. And there for the first time we see the centenary of scouting in 2008 celebrating 100 years of scouting in australia makes a bit of a mini set with the guiding one uh, two years later but uh, it's also highly minted so we'll go up on the top row but here we have one of those low minted mob of ruse coins that we talk about the 2014 mob of ruse it's not in great condition but it is uh, just over a million of these minted. So it will go down on the top, on the bottom row for the moment as a keeper. And there for the first time we see the centenary of women's suffrage in 2003. A very nice coin also not issued in set so very hard to find in good condition.
And that then brings us on to the last roll with a couple of commemoratives coming out there, but nothing for the book. The elusive changeover, even though we've had a lot of 2016 coins, there was, there was 30 something million of them uh, minted. So, but only 560,000 of those changeovers. So it's very hard to find those. And being... <laughs> This book is taking a fairly long time to finish off because of that particular coin. But hopefully we're about halfway through this last roll. Hopefully we get a little bit of last roll luck. That would be handy if we got a little bit of last roll luck. Let's see how we're going, even if it's not the changeover. Another NIFC coin would be very nice. Another keeper for the wider collection. As we count down these last few coins Let's see how it goes but maybe not to be yeah there's a 2000 coin we always check the 2000 coin for a mule error this is the second one that I had looked through this hunt but that's not it either oh but that's it so we have done the hunt and what we have found is a few things that I will or will not keep this 2014 low minted mob of ruse is going to go back to the bank. It's just not in good enough condition for me to keep in the wider collection. There's a Charles coin here that is had a truck run over it. It's got a lot of road rash on it. That's going back to the bank. This Charles coin is definitely going to be kept uh, for the wider collection until we find out what the mintage is because it's uh, in pretty good condition. This also road rashed. A dollar discovery coin with the U preview mark is going to go back from 2019. That looks very, very ordinary. Got a couple of AFL Premiership season best and fairest trophies, the Chaz Brownlow trophy. They're going to go back, even though they're in great condition. Uh, I was actually looking at the mintage of these today. The mintage on the Royal Australian Mint website as part of the corporate program says that there should only be 166,000 of these. But I'm finding way too many of them for that number to be right. So I'm assuming that that number is going to get adjusted. Um, I've got probably 20, maybe 30 of these in really good condition like these ones. So they're going to go back. I don't need that many of those. So what we probably would call the plum of the hunt is the Australian dinosaurs, the Elephosaurine uh, from 2022. Although it's not in great condition, I really have to look at the ones that I have and see if we have better ones than this, because uh, that's pretty ordinary. But then the 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 T for thongs from the Great Aussie Coin Hunt number one definitely going into the wider collection, even though it is in isn't in pristine or looking like uncirculated condition, because those ones are very hard to find as well. Very very low minted, just on that half a million, about the same as the changeover. So as hard as those to find individually. But please let me know. Uh, in the comments down below if you're finding uh, things like that any of the great Aussie coin hunt coins the other one i'm going to probably put into the oddities is this a stamped coin that's definitely going to go as an oddity into the wider collection uh, but please uh, if you like what i do think about subscribing to the channel uh, it allows you to see more of my videos on your, for your for you page but i will be back for more noodling in a couple of days. So I'll see you then. Bye.